Are my judges ready? Um, how do is everybody's business in order to make it your uh, own business? You guys start playing a role by helping spread awareness or by helping the family members. Hello, my name is Alan Rafe. Uh, however, due to the stricter laws and various types of child abuse, the declining of foster care homes are hard to find permanent places for kids. I chose the topic child abuse because I relate to it. I just wanted to help spread awareness. Uh, I had a family member of mine once exposed to child abuse, and I just wanted to help since four years ago and do the best I can. I researched the main types of abuse. The four main types of abuse I researched was sexual, uh, physical, mental, and emotional. I researched how all these types of abuse affects the children and how it all like, kind of works out. Sexual abuse, it affects the children by anger. It causes unexplained anger. It just keeps everything to built up inside them, they don't open up really. Self-harm, it the anger kind of goes along with self-harm, but they just hurt, like, they're in pain, so they just don't eat or drink, and they, it causes depression with the self-harm. Physical abuse, it, they're being frightened of adult figures or anybody older than them, mainly, and they're less receptive. I feel like they're less receptive because they feel like they're not paying attention, but yet they're still looking like they're paying attention. Uh, on mental abuse, there it's severe as severe as sexual abuse. Like they both do cause anger issues, but this one causes more anger issues, and this one causes unexplained fear, and they're easily afraid of everything. Emotional abuse, I reach, they it is as or like sexual abuse, and it's kind of related to mental abuse, but it does cause self harm. And this one, they're not eating nor are they drinking; they're just having depression, and it's causing them to block out their eating or drinking. I researched the types of laws. The Child, the Child Abuse and Prevention Treatment Act is called CAPA. It was formed to address that all states must have a law requirement on child abuse, and it also is mainly for mandated reporters. The Protection of Children from Sexual Offenses Act, Costco, it was formed in 2012. It is a gender neutral legislation, and it also identifies the child as 18 years of age and below. The foster care, I mean, I searched up the Adoption and Foster Care Analysis and Reporting Act. It's called AFCARS for short. It's of 2012, just like POSCO. But this one, it, in the month of September of 2012, it had 397,122 children in the place of foster care. And of that 397,122 3, children, 101,666 children were still waiting to be adopted in the month of September. And it and most of the children was never reunited with their families due to child abuse or neglect. Statistics, it is 61% towards the children, and that's 166,679 kids gained. This was in 2016, so it was getting neglected in 2016. The drug abuse, the parents use drugs, that's 34% of parents use drugs in 2016. That 92, 92,177 yeah, parents use drugs, and we don't know whether or not they're abusing or neglecting their children while on drugs. Physical abuse, 12% is getting removed from their home, and 33,671 children are willing to speak up and say they're being physically abused. The lowest is sexual abuse. That's 9,904 children getting pulled from their house in 2016, but I feel like it went up lately. I didn't research the statistics on 2017, but 2016 is still pretty low. Uh, for my uh, project, I did a booth at Bear Festival. I sold shirts right in this corner and sold them for $5 each. I raised $335, and that money goes to Buck, Bikers Against Child Abuse. They helped my family, and so I wanted to help by giving back. I get, handed out these little pamphlets I have, and I have some for you guys, and you guys can have these ones to look as for visuals, and these ones you guys can keep if you want. Thank you. And uh, I had handed out bracelets, as you can see in this corner, and we gave those to children, and it said prevent child abuse. Uh, oh, on my shirt, I had my shirt right here, and it says help stop children abuse. It, it's what you do to make a child that makes a difference today. We sold those for, in black and white for $5 each. The teddy bear drive, I did it at Town & Country because I worked there, and it was easy access for me to get the bears. In g and I don't live too far from g and so I felt like if I put a box there, I can easily get the bears as well. The time commitment was for about two weeks, and I still kept getting bears. 
the amount of, I had about three loads of bears. This was my third amount of load. I raised that much bears in about a few weeks. Bakken gives those bears to uh, the victims of child abuse. And I have mine, as you can see, that they, I'm not the victim, but like, I have mine that they gave me for being a part of my, the family. And they gave me that four years ago, and I still got it. They, they hugged it and everything, and they said if I needed a warm hug or anything, just hug the bear, and it will make me feel safe. Bach has been there for my family, so I just wanted to pay back and do the best I can for them. Um, child abuse is everybody's business, like I said, so I just want you guys to play a role and just help spread awareness and do your duty. Do you guys have any questions? Did you have an opportunity to visit with anybody in like child protective services or any kind of a group like that that, that kind of give you an idea of how the situation is in our area? No, ma'am, I'm sorry. Through your research, did, did it say like if, if the abuse was more common in like a, a rural area or a city? Did it have anything? The like research I did was states mainly, and I so I can get the variety of laws in states. And I researched, I'm pretty sure on my poster or trifold, there was one in Kentucky I researched, but I'm pretty sure that is Kappa, but it also is from every other, every state too. Is that all the questions? Mr. Kohlmeyer, you getting? Mm -hmm. right, uh, Ma'am, you getting? All right, thank you guys. <laughs>